Okay, let's say you want to pull some images off the World Wide Web because you can't find them in the Scratch library. So we're going to go over here to maybe a hunt that I've done here. So right here, there's this place called soundbible.com, and it has all kind of free sounds. And I've went ahead and clicked on one called Creepy Background Sound. And all you have to do from here is just click on where it says WAVE, and it'll download that WAVE file down into your um, downloads. And so you'll be able to use that in Scratch. And then, obviously, at some point else, I've picked up images of Jack-O-Lantern. And let's say I want this one. So all I have to do again is I have to right-click and hit Save Image As. And then I, maybe I call it Jack 2. And that should go into my... Um, folder that I know where it's at. So I've got one in the downloads and I got one in a folder that I know where it's at. So if I go back here to my Scratch um, program, if I can find it, there we go. Go to my Scratch program. If I want a new sprite, let's say I could put the background, if I wanted it as a background, I go over here and I would click background and upload it as background. If I wanted it as a sprite, I could upload it as a sprite. I can do either one. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and just put this new jack-o-lantern in as a background and say open and so that'll be a background pick if you want it bigger I think we could probably make it bigger over here if we just click on this bit over here and we make a box around it and then we pull and we can corner pull it bigger and we could probably even center it up a little bit maybe nope let me see if I can corner pull that way nope all right, so we've made it a little bigger, and if I click off of it and click back on, it should show up a little bigger. There you go. So I've corner pulled it and made it a little bigger. So now I've got a background, and if I want a spooky sound in there, now I go to sounds, and notice this is a sound that I get from the library. This is recording a sound, and this last one says upload a sound from file. So now I'd have to go to my downloads file, and somewhere in here, I there's one called creepy background. You see it? And I just have to hit open. And it might take a moment or two, but it'll upload that wave in there. So now if we played it, that's a minute and four of creepy background music. So all I'd have to do is code. So if I'm still going to code on my cat, notice the sound uh, was in the background, actually. So that's where I have to play it from. So I can't code cat and, and play this sound because it's not there. If I want to do that, I'd have to move it over. But I can actually play this sound right from the background because that's where it's stored. So the background can have code. And in the code, maybe it'll just say when green flag is clicked. It'll go to the sound menu, and it'll say play sound, creepy background. And then all I have to do is click go, and you'll see that not only did the background come in, but also I now have some creepy music playing in the background. And you could do some broadcast and receive and wish somebody a happy Halloween, but there's some other things you could do. But bringing sounds and also bringing in pictures from the World Wide Web is something you're uh, more than welcome to do. Thanks.